Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Skillshare logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Photoshop. I have the Skillshare logo file over here. So first thing we will do, we will right click over here and make this layer into rasterize layer. Now we don't need that white background over here. So for that what I'll do, I'll select this uh, layer, go to the select option, choose color range and with the help of the speaker, I'll choose this white color and for the fuzziness, I'll choose all of it like 200 and hit ok as you can see it will select all the white color in this image and simply hit delete and hit ctrl d now press ctrl shift s to save our file i'll save this file over here as a psd document i have already shared this file but i'll also save this thing as a png format and i'll call it as png and hit ok hit ok now after that what i will do i will go to the illustrator and i will create one new document width is 1920 height is 1080 rgb mode and click create on it now after that what i will do i will after this i will drag this sketch share png file on this document and after up, uh, applying this image over here I'll go to the image trace and expand now select on this white portion right click hit ungroup select again right click release compound path now we will delete this white portion from here from here also and from here also so as we can see we have this kind of shape layers but all of these things are on the same layer so we don't want that we want each and every alphabet should be on the separate layer so for that what i'll do i'll go over here as we can see we have this parts and we have some unwanted parts so by holding shift i'll select all of them and i hit delete select this layer one click on this icon go over here and release two layers in sequence as we can see now we have these layers now with the help of shift i'll select all of them and i'll simply drag them over here we have one extra layer over here so i'll hit delete on it now save this illustrator file but before that what we will do we need to arrange them properly as we can see their arrangement are not proper like in the layer wise so for that what i'll do i'll select this s drag it at the lower position select this one skill i think i select this l then s h a r should be here yeah so now all of them are line wise and save this illustrator file i'll call it as Untitled one and save. Now, after that, what I'll do, I'll go to the After Effects, I'll create one new composition, I'll call it as main animation width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, duration is 1.30 seconds, and for the background color, I'll choose solid white and hit OK. Choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action now hit ctrl i on keyboard to import our skillshare logo file over here select the skillshare logo import as footage composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import drag the skillshare logo over here double click on it as we can see we have this black background to get rid of this hit ctrl k so it will reveal our composition settings and for the background color i'll choose white color and hit ok hit ok 
as you can see we have all these things are on the separate layer but all of them are illustrator layer so we don't want illustrator or layer over here to animate this thing so hit ctrl a to select all of them right click over here create shift from the set text so not text but vector layer so what we will do it will create a shape layers for this illustrator files and simply hit click on it and i'll drag this thing on the top now we don't need that illustrator layers anymore so i'll delete those illustrator layers now these are our uh, alphabet layers say with the fill not stroke so we don't uh, we want two types of shape layers one with fill and one with stroke so what i'll do i'll select all of them i'll go over here and for the fill i'll choose red color hit ctrl d drag it at the top all of them select all of them and choose pitch and i'll delete the fill for them and hit ok yeah and i'll hide these things for now yeah so all of them which are red are for fill if i hide them and i'll unhide them all of them which are in uh, what color it is let's see yellow color are for the strokes but as we can see we don't have any stroke over here so first thing we need to do we need to add stroke for all of them so i'll select this s go over here go to the content go to the add and add one stroke we don't see stroke because it's in white color so for the color i choose black hit ok and for the stroke width i choose three hit ok yeah as you can see we need stroke for all of them so simply what we can do select the stroke one hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v yep so now all which are in yellow are strokes and all which are in red are fill so after that what i'll do i'll select this s over here go over here go to the content go to the add and add trim part go to the trim part let's make it zero create one keyframe over here zoom in a little bit go to the two seconds and let's make it 100 if i hit play we are getting this kind of animation select those keyframes hit f9 to easy use those keyframes yep now select the stream path one hit ctrl c select the remaining layers and hit ctrl v let you as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff hit u now i'll select this i'll unhide this fill layers i'll unhide this stroke layers over here also select all of them and hit ctrl v and hit u so we will have the stroke animation now after that what i'll do go over here go to the 10 frames alt close bracket close square bracket select this layer then by holding shift select this layer right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok and drag these things up to here as you can see we are getting this sequence wise animation same procedure we will follow for all of them unhide them go to the 10 frames select this one first and by holding shift this one alt close bracket right click keyframe persistence sequence layers hit ok and again drag this thing over here after that what we'll do we will select all of them and we will simply move these things up to here and let's see a little bit over here yep now after that uh, we need to add one circle over here and one circle over here so for that what i'll do i'll choose my ellipse tool i don't want any stroke for this ellipse but for the fill i'll choose this greenish color and hit ok 
by holding shift i'll create one circle over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center choose our selection tool and i'll drag this thing over here hit ctrl d and move this thing over here sorry i have created ellipse in the ellipse select this shape layer and then hit ctrl d and drag this thing over here press ctrl alt home select this one and press ctrl alt home now after that i will select both of them press s for scaling option create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to the one second create another keyframe go to the start and let's make it zero select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit select this uh, graph by holding shift i'll drag this handle over here so we will get this easiness in our animation and after this i'll move these things over here select this one and i'll move this over here now if i go to our main animation as we can see we are getting something like this but as we can see this animation is very slow so to get rid of this what i'll do i'll simply click right or simply right click over here go to the time time stretch and i'll make it 70 percent so if i hit play now it will animate a little bit faster now after this thing happened select this layer press s for scaling option and scale it down and adjust it in the middle select this key uh, not keyframe sorry but this layer and hit ctrl d d ctrl d and d I would do a, uh, we have five copies over here i select the last one or before that what i'll do i'll adjust them right now only yep select this fifth layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it not eyedrop fill but fill color red as it is select this fourth one apply fill effect i'll apply blue color select this third layer apply fill color and i'll apply green color let's say you are free to choose any color you want I'll select this third layer, apply fill effect, I'll apply purple color over here. If I hit play, we are getting this kind of animation. Select all of them, press Ctrl Shift C. I'll call it as animation and ok and if you think this animation is still so slow so you can again create go to the time time stretch and let's make it 60 this time and if I hit play it will animate a little bit faster not 60 but let's say it is, it's too much fast let's say 80 percent yep now after that what i'll do i'll go through this animation hit ctrl y for now and i'll create one solid layer drag it over here go to the main animation and hit ctrl d press s for scaling option i'll link this option and i'll make this minus 100 press p for position and i'll drag this thing over here for now i'll unhide this layer for now now select this animation one not one but first layer and apply corner pin corner pin effect over here as we can see we are getting this kind of corners i'll drag this corner over here and i'll drag this corner over here select this one select this effect make 
make sure that these are on the zip same distance make it fit now go to this animation com and i'll hide this white pg format unhide this layer select this thing press p for position property drag it over here press s for scaling option uh, link this thing and scale it down and adjust this thing over here yeah after that select our rectangle tool and create one mask on this thing not mask but sorry create one shape layer just like this select this animation press f4 and make it alpha matte select this shape layer one go to the effect and presets panel and apply blur effect on it apply gaussian blur effect let's make it 150 or let's say something like this select this layer press t for opacity and let's make it 40 or let's say 20 hit you if i go to start we will get this kind of animation of this logo now create one null object select all of them make it apparent with this null one press s for scaling option let's make it 105 initially create one keyframe over here and when our animation is done i'll make this 95 or let's say 90 hit n so yep this is our final animation of the skillshare logo So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.